Hi and welcome back. Let's do a super fast unboxing and haul video here because the postman came by but I haven't got much time for this. My feet bell in the stable is all empty and I kind of expect my bunnies would like to eat over Christmas so I have to go and buy bunny food so but I would like to get this one out of the way before I go shopping there we go all the photos is dead I ordered some stuff on Amazon because there was a super deal on one of the items and to fill it up I ordered these washi tapes that I've been eyeing for oh my god two years they're very cute I hope they're not nasty sticky like the last ones I bought otherwise there's somebody who's gonna get an extra Christmas gift here's the star of the show they had the 24 set of Arteza paints on for sale and I wanted a flat tray to mix colors on and for a couple of euros extra I got this one. Let's get the box out of the way. Um, especially for gouache I, I like to have just a flat palette to, to mix on instead of mucking around with wells and I've been looking for I'll be looking for porcelain, but this is melanin or melamine or whatever it's called, plastic kind of thing. And these ones, um, 16 euros, normally they go for 20. So I thought, well, now that I am torturing myself with all kinds of thick paints, why not get some more? So let's have a quick look here. So 24 colors. I figured that that would be a good amount and the tubes are not super thick and uh, big or anything. And we've got a thalo blue and an ultramarine blue and some weird Arteza blues. So that's normal enough. We got some yellows that are acceptable. Yellow ochre, oh, an orange, a red. Uh, it looks like they, they pretty much follow the same recipe for their colors re across paint types. So that's 22 milliliters, that is just fine for my needs at the moment. And they're just stacked alternately down here. These were a little crooked in there. That is amazing. I'm going to try these out later. I'm curious to see how they are. I got a an acrylic video lined up that I want to do anyway, so these can play in there too. Let's have a quick look at some of these. Okay, so there's like two. What am I gonna do with that? It's like it's the bottom that has been cut off. Yeah, that kind of fits underneath here. Okay. That is acceptably in terms of stickiness. The, I, bought, I got a roll that I bought in a local shop. I don't know if I still got it. And that was um, very sticky and it left lots of residue that wouldn't 
Yeah, I couldn't get it off paper or anything. But these seems okay, and I thought they would be nice for when I tape down my um, my paintings. It's just kind of weird that they all got that extra. Oh well, cheap stuff from China. That was 10 euros for 24 rolls. I guess I can't complain too much. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back later doing some other stuff and um, see you later.